Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching all of my content. I appreciate you guys for liking the video and subscribing. Uh, our subscriber base is going up pretty quickly. Uh, I think possibly because I'm a little bit more consistent and also possibly because I'm really wishing a little bit more information into the videos. Today we have Mason out here. If you've been watching the previous videos, uh, you've been seeing that we've been uh, conditioning the e-collar to him. But we started, we talked about starting off uh, in sort of like a low stimulant uh, environment over at the ranch not a whole lot going on and so in today's video we're just going to talk uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about like you know the level up and what's different and why we've gone through the process in the way that we have but first just like you guys have been doing leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel only if you have been taking the information and applying it to your own stuff okay it's like the it's like you don't want to be like a, a content thief, you know, and it's, it's completely free to watch these videos. Um, all you got to do is to pay for the admission. If you're using the content is click, click the like button and subscribe button. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. So here we are in a brand new context off of the leash with my buddy Mason there. But what you'll also find is that in this little enclosed park section, right? Yes. Uh, in this little um, enclosed park section. So I just paid him just for coming back to me on his own there. Okay, so that's just that's just free shaping a recall. Very basic stuff. If, if you're in this context or anywhere at all and your dog just comes back to you, that's like a really, that's like a great opportunity to reward him for that. So as, as I like to say, don't leave home without your tools. All right, your tool belt, treat pouch, because you're gonna wanna have access to reward, whether that be food, whether that be with some praise, or whether that be with you know a dog that really loves to play. So those are like the three ways that we know that we can utilize a reward system for the dog for doing the things that we really love love them doing. Yes, good. So he knows that yes marker well too. So we could just drop that yes bomb and he just, yes, he knows he's gonna get paid directly after that. So, uh, so here we are. Uh, like I was saying, there's not a whole lot going on. There's still a particular low level stimuli. There's not people, there's not dogs. It's just a new environment. But see that in itself is a new challenge because it's like, whoa, dude, where am I? This is new. So it becomes a little bit more difficult to get your dog back in a new environment or get them to do the same things that they would do in an environment of which they are already acclimated. So a lot of people, like for example, they bring me their dogs for a program and they're like, my dog knows this, my dog knows this, my dog knows this. And then I just politely ask them to perform that and the dog won't do it. Owner starts scratching their head like, well, why, why, how come my dog's not doing this? This is embarrassing. Well, that's just because you haven't really practiced that specific thing in multiple different uh, contexts, different looks for the dog. So if you only practice sit down, stay like in your kitchen before they eat their dinner or whatever, then it's, it's just the, it's just the one look that they know. So that's why it's really important that we get out in a multitude of different contexts and give the dogs different looks so that we can really start to learn to trust them um, in, 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 in all the different places that we bring them. So it just really comes down to a matter of providing opportunities for your dog to get better. So if you never take your dog out places and you never do this types of stuff, you're probably constantly going to have problems when you do go to a new place and stuff like that. So that's what we're out here doing today. Um, and without further ado, I'm just going to tap. Yes. Good. And it kind of sucks because I'd like for you to be able to see, you know, like where I go. Uh, sometimes it'd be nice if I had a cameraman. But what I'm going to try to do is lose him. I'm going to try to lose him. I'll throw some food over there. If I raise my hand, if I go like this, that's me tapping the button, okay? Yes, heel. Good, he just came back to me on his own there though. Dude, you got all this space, go ahead. Mason here, yes, good. Tapped it and we know he's feeling it at his working level, which for him is a level seven out of 100. Little tiny tap on the shoulder. So that's what we describe this tool as, is a little tap on the shoulder. As long as you're training properly with this, that's all it'll ever will be. You might have to dial it up a little bit after we've already taught the, the gas pedal. If you're gonna utilize it in like a corrective way, you know, and he's like stimulated on something or whatever, he may not feel it at his working level or he might feel it or he, 
just will ignore it because it's just not quite enough for where he's at. You know, he's like fucking revving high. You might have to try to go up a little bit to try to match that. And, and listen, that's, that's a tricky one because sometimes conflict on an already conflicted dog may not have the same exact result. So it really depends on the dog. And guys, this is exactly why I'm so glad I thought to, uh, to add this into the video. Mason, here. Yes. Good boy. Good. Heel. Good. Break. Um, so he was just over there fucking off. And I just used that as an opportunity to see if I could get him back. Do you guys see? Do you guys see that? It's just nothing to this shit but to do it. You know what I'm talking about? And it's just like, oh, there's an opportunity. There's an opportunity. Don't run away from it. People see where their dogs struggle and they're like, fuck that, I'm, I'm leaving. Like for example, I don't wanna make this video too long, but for example, when I got here, there was a guy here with a Doberman, off leash, whatever. I come in, I'm setting up my camera. Um, he realizes that I'm coming in and uh, he gets his dogs and, and leaves. And as I'm back at my van right there, coming around the corner, his dog launches at me and tries to taste me. And I was like, it's okay, baby. I, I probably look like I taste good and shit. <laughs> but uh, it's all good. He was super embarrassed. And that's a situation where like, he's basically running from the opportunity to get better. There was no real communication involved in that interaction at all. It happened. He apologized. He kept going. Right? Okay. Well, if I know my dog sucks at something, we're never going to get to the other side of that unless we fucking practice. Now, obviously, he may not understand what to do or how to do it fair enough. I'm not holding that against him. All I'm saying is if you've identified something, Mason here. Mason here. Yes. Good boy. Heel. Well, that fucking took a little bit long, didn't it? Are you, are we feeling this? Sit down. Okay. Yes, he's feeling it. Perfect. It's not going to be perfect. Took me like five taps to get his attention. So I dialed it up a little bit. He was over there with his nose in the ground. You know, I don't want to show you guys nothing but perfection. You guys literally saw like me sitting there actually troubleshooting to see what number it is that until I could get him back. Mason here. Yes. Good. Good. Great. Good. Awesome. That's pretty, much, uh, that's pretty much the video, guys. I don't want to sit here and make this video too long. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see something in the comments. And hey, man, 3,000 subscribers strong. We got that momentum going. I'm going to leave you with this. You got to have something that gets you up every day, something that gets you excited every day. Got to have goals set so that you can one foot right in front of the other, day in and day out. And you do that until you feel that momentum. And once you feel that momentum, you become an unstoppable force. I'm Captain Chad Gabs. This is Mason the Roddy. And we'll see you at the next one. Appreciate y'all. Peace.